cool, everyone. And we'll just have the door. And the weekend's over. Well, actually, the weekend's been over for a while for, for me. So, hello, everybody. Welcome back. Um, yeah, today, just yeah, interesting. This week was interesting. Again, it was pretty interesting. Um, so, hello, everybody. Welcome back. Um, and such. Um, so, I was going to report on the bush clash, but I went late last night. And I felt sleepy, so I had to go to bed. I'm um, excited to get up, do some stuff. Um, hello, everybody. And I'll tell you guys um, about the bush clash and... In just a minute but yeah so this weekend was actually pretty cool friday cold saturday cold also bowling um seeing andrew and my friends again um and stuff like that um sunday watching the bathurst um 12 hour finish and then um seeing the bush clash finish um so the bathurst 12 hour was this weekend, Mercedes ended up winning. Uh, it was actually more interesting than the Clash race. I was actually watching bits and pieces of the 12 hour at Bathurst. For those of you who don't know, it's Mount Panorama. Mount Panorama, or Panorama, in, uh, in good old Australia. And race didn't disappoint. Uh, there was Mercedes, Porsche, and everybody else leading it. Eventually, it was a Mercedes um, one three, and then Porsche came second. Matthew Campbell and Matthew Gemini and some other guy coming in second. Pretty good to see a second and a half was way more exciting than the NASCAR race, which was actually pretty boring and was actually pretty disappointing. Um, NASCAR fifteen cautions in a race that should have been an exhibition. And I understand the drivers were going for it, but they actually ended up going like 20 minutes. Um, they ended up like going like an out, like, like a, they ended up like going like 30 minutes over their um, time on, on air because they had 15 cautions. No, actually, not 15, 16. 16 cautions. Um, they didn't count any laps, unfortunately, because it's an exhibition. And they would have rolled through them. The cars were going to be rotating at like 20. At the speeds they were going, they were going about, they were going about 40 to 50 miles an hour. Their top speed was 186. So, um, in a quarter mile track, and it was boring. Uh, the longest green flag run last night was twenty lap was like twenty laps. Was like twenty laps. It was pretty, pretty damn bad. So, um, I think the um, it was bad in the first half. They barely didn't show any wrecks. TV coverage was terrible. Um, and when a wreck did happen, they never showed it. Because they wouldn't pan out enough. Because the the camera shot was... The cameras were good enough to where, where we could have watched the whole thing. Quarter mile track. If NASCAR wants to go back there next year, which I hope they don't, they're going to have to pan out a little bit more. And even Kyle Busch said it was horrible. Like it was a wreck fest. Like people were bumping into each other and stuff like that. Uh, he got bumped around. Uh, a bunch of other people got bumped around. Um... Ryan Fries, who actually was actually, um, David Fries or Ryan Fries, can't remember, was actually in the lead for like 45 laps. And then he ended up getting punted out, punted out of the leader. His car ended up breaking, breaking with an electrical issue, which was bad because he was a dirt track guy because he was a short track guy. So that would have helped him out. Um, I was very disappointed at NASCAR for not doing a better job. And... Um, and they were, they weren't really going fast enough to do a, um, Ross Chastain style thing, which I believe now is banned. Um, the music was absolute garbage. Um, they had, 
some guy do the pregame the pregame concert and he was doing and he was doing rap or R and B or whatever the hell it was. And then Wiz call Khalifa what the forever the hell he is. Then then he did his he did three songs. They did a song I didn't understand. They did black and yellow, which is basically you can't understand dude. It's the damn thing they're saying. All they're saying is black and yellow like a hundred times. I'm like, this is really this is really music. I mean, this is NASCAR. Rock and roll, please. Rask, rock and roll or country would be great. Brad Paisley, Jason Aldean. You know, you know, is NASCAR heard of these people? You know, and rock and roll people or some type of metal or something like that. Some some NASCAR related kind of kind of piss poor to be honest um uh did i yeah i didn't really enjoy the racing i really didn't enjoy the entertainment i think they should bring it back to uh the road course at daytona or maybe road course at daytona and then do the uh the duels the the dual races um then duel the dual races but I would never go back there. I think NASCAR has lost it. Um, officially, I think the Bathurst race was more interesting for six hours. the the whole The whole Bathurst race was was amazing for twelve hours, um, including the last like two and a half. There was a couple of reps and bangs, but there was a couple of good chases going on at the end. Um, Maro Engel hit hit the guy hit one of the guys that was in the car i think it was jules going on um and jules just drove the just drove the wheels off the car and then matt campbell was charging behind him after angle had served his penalty and angle got within um within like half a second of campbell and um go within a second and a half of campbell and then um, no, I got within, with a, got 1.5 seconds of Campbell and Campbell got within one, but about a half a, about half a second of, um, Gunan. It was actually a very good race. I actually think that the Bathurst race was better than the, um, it's better than the NASCAR race. And that's saying something. And Daytona was a lot more entertaining than, than the NASCAR race, which should have been at Daytona. Um, they kind of need to change their priorities or change it to a different track. Um, if they wanted to do a short track exhibition, that's not the way to do it. Either that or shorten up the field or um, shorten up the field or make them run freaking make them run, make them run modified or something. I don't care. Um, I think that'd be more of a, I think that would be more of a modified track or a sprint car track to me. Um, I don't think that's a NASCAR cup car track. Um, at least I don't think it is. Um, I hope NASCAR gets their act together and doesn't run that race next year because it was really terrible. Um, and Saturday night was actually pretty good. Um, I actually bowled. I actually got my got my bowling arm good. It's a little sore from launching those heavy candle pin and the heavy, uh, the heavier bowling balls. I actually got two strikes in a row actually after, after I corrected my launch for, to correct on my launch. In fact, Andrew was giving everybody tips and actually everybody started correcting their tips and really started to make the game kind of good. And, um, uh, I, you know, it's just for fun. It's not really meant to do this. You just, you know, you don't learn something and stuff like that. I also got to, got to eat a nice margarita pizza and Coca Cola, and uh, got to meet, um, got to, um, got to meet. Um, Got to meet, um, got to meet Alex Irwin 
and Tim Alsop and Brandon Les Garbo, not Les Garbo, um, and and it was it was good. It was good to um, it was good to meet them again and see. You know, hopefully we'll get again together and um, we'll get a bigger crowd next time. So that'll be interesting. Maybe in the uh, winter, um, maybe more in the spring or the summer. Maybe um, that'd be cool. And maybe um, we'll stay for a few more hours. We'll have to go a little earlier. I think we'll get some lanes. Be there a couple hours and do whatever, and possibly eat there or go back to his house. We'll see. But it was definitely a successful weekend. I definitely had one. Just a reminder, Gran Turismo 7 is up. My Alfa Romeo uh, finale is up. I'm also doing, I'm also opening a, my um, February, well, it's February 6th. So I'm opening up my February uh, project, which is going to be the Nissan Zs. I know January dragged on, but some things had to happen and um good old good old inventory screwed that up um i hope you guys aren't too bent out of shape i'm actually off it doesn't seem like you guys are because i'm actually got off to a better start this month than it did last month the first three the first six days of this month were actually pretty damn the first eight, six days of this month or I have 23 views. The first six days of last month was actually uh, started out slow, but then I gained a lot of momentum later in the later in the month. I think it was like middle of the month to later in the month I started getting a lot more. So you guys started me off with uh, 23 views versus um, like 14. Yeah. Uh, last month so we're starting to pick up a little bit so that's actually not bad and we're just on the cusp of 7,000 so 60 if we can get like 60 so if we can get like 60 to um yeah so we can get like 65 so if we can pass 65 views this month so if we get another 65 views so if we get 65 views by by a certain time we'll be at 7,000 um if we can get over 200 this month we can we can be we can be well over 71 we can be well over 7,100 so if we can go 200 we can do 200 this month or 250 this month and average 250 a month that would actually be pretty good because that would mean I would be in the, uh, I'd be at 7,100 or something like that. So, um, so that's actually a pretty damn good start. I'll just keep on putting these out for you. So, um, you guys don't go anywhere. I'll keep on pushing out this content. I might record, um, I might record, uh, the, uh, more Final Fantasy tomorrow and my release it Thursday. And then Friday, I definitely will do a, um, Friday, I definitely will do, maybe I'll do GTA or something, or I'll do, um, GTA or something, or I'll do, um, Enlisted, which is a good multiplayer game, because I actually had to download it. Um, and then on Saturday, uh, usual, I'll just do the gear change show. I'll try to do it early in the day so I don't fall asleep. So, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I definitely am enjoying these. I hope you guys, uh, give us a like, maybe subscribe, just view it. Even if it is for like five minutes and then watch another five minutes. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, let's begin the week off good. Tomorrow's Tuesday, the 7th, and April's 35 years old today. And I wished her happy birthday, and she thanked me for it. So, happy birthday, April, out there. Um, so, uh, 
And uh, to all my friends, I wish them all good luck and New Year's. Thomas is actually, it's actually hilarious. Thomas is going to be turning um, Thomas is going to be turning 30 um, Yeah, it's actually hilarious. Thomas is Thomas is going to be turning 34 in April and then Megan is going to be turning 34 in June. And then I'm going to be turning 34 at the end of the year. So yeah, so year 33 is definitely turning out to be an in we're already I'm already halfway through my 33rd year. Um and year 33 is proving to be very interesting. So um so I hope more uh so I'm hoping to savor 33 for another uh so I'm hoping to well if it's the ninth yeah so i have a little over um i have a little over seven seven months to go so march will actually be um march april may june july august yeah so march will actually be the halfway point in my my will actually be the halfway point in my 30 50 my 33rd year so i'm going to hold on to my 33rd year definitely going to enjoy every moment of it i'm going to cherish 33 till september so i don't want to I, I, you just want to feel younger and younger and more youthful i guess so um so i'll see you guys later um i hope you guys all have a good week um i will definitely be recording i don't know if i'm uploading tomorrow i might um I might just upload maybe, maybe something small, some maybe small, um, and, uh, oh yeah, that's right, August, September, October, November, December, January, oh, September, October, November, December, January, February, I actually have to give you guys, I actually have to give you guys a review on, on this. It's currently dead because I left my charger at work, unfortunately, but I can live without that. But I'll see you guys later and hope you guys have a good night. Peace out.